John 10 is 12. But he that is in hireling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. Yep, the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. So that's why these these people ain't doing them. These these scoffers and these these people that are not true men of the Lord, they ain't doing them but setting y'all up, letting y'all marinate to get fucked up, man. You know? Like, like it's basically like niggas be telling you non-violence, stop the violence. In the meantime, the elect is, is, is showing everybody how to fight back and how to fight. And you know non-violence, non-violence is the way because that's, that's more acceptable in this society. Nobody gonna say nothing bad about you. You ain't gotta go through nothing. And then as soon as martial law hit, these people don't know how to defend themselves. They're out there protesting. Meanwhile, the elect is ready for war. You know? That's what we're doing right now. That's why these niggas reacting how they reacting. Because they weren't told how to defend themselves, man. You know? And we ain't talking about physical. We're talking about they ain't know how to use, use uh, the most high in the sun, man. All these, all these fucking free thinkers Choose your own path, ass niggas. You know, talk all that jazz and, and telling people to to um to do your own thing. And as soon as Trump get in office and all this law pass, that law pass, now niggas out there protesting ain't nothing to do. But we've been telling you the whole time to rely on the Most High, man. You know, I'm telling y'all the whole time that's your defense. You know. Uh, the hireling fled because he is a an hireling and careth not for the sheep. Yep, because he's a hireling and he careth not for the sheep. So when somebody tell you to think and do what you want to do, they're just telling you because they want to do what the hell they want to do. They don't care about you, man. The elect cares about Israel, man. Yeah, it, it's saying we're not doing this because we want to get on your nerves. What, what benefit is that? I can, I can do that from inside, man. You know? It, it, I'm, I'm that hateful. You know, the apostles and the, the, the prophets are that hateful that they go out every day on the weekend, every 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 weekend, to make you mad. To, to preach and push hate. Like, we're not that adamant to do nothing, man. There's an agenda behind this, man. We're, we're, we're watching. We basically, we see the danger coming. Give me that in Amos. It says it in Amos. You know? Uh, chapter 3. It says uh, a watchman basically he's standing on the, You know? He blow up the trumpet when he see danger, man. But these niggas ain't blowing no trumpets. You know? Even the, like the scoffers, like Yaka and I, even the base niggas, they ain't blowing trumpets. You know? I, I, be, I be looking on like IG and different, you know, social media outlets. Then I see niggas to be saying, uh, you know, first, first they say they're gonna leave the country, you know, behind Trump. They ain't going nowhere. Then they out here showing pictures of Trump talking down on his wife or not opening the door. What the fuck that got to do with anything? Meanwhile, this nigga starting a trade war. You know. Meanwhile, this law is being passed. That law is being passed. The niggas are, are, are talk shit like they know something, but they ain't, they ain't preparing the flock for what's actually happening. You, you're treating it like it's celebrity gossip. The scripture say they rise up early to play, man. You know? And that's what y'all do. Every time I see, see this shit and see how they talk, they rise up early. I say, y'all need to rise up early to play, man. Go ahead. Amos chapter 3 verse 6 Shall a trumpet be blown in the city And the people will not be afraid Shall it be evil in the city And the Lord have not done it I think it's like up a, It's up a little bit further huh? See the watchman The watchman sit upon the tower What's in chapter 1? Uh, 3 and 1 uh, from the land of Egypt, saying, I will punish you for your iniquities. Can two be together? Can two walk together and not be free? Uh, lion and forest. Uh, 
This is uh, the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 1. Blow, uh, blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the, of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. That's why, that's what we're doing. Somebody come out here and ask us what we're doing is a dumbass question. If you're watching it, you're going to be like, yo, they're blowing the trumpet, man. Because you can see the prophecies coming to pass. That, that's, you, you're supposed to be far past that question. You know? You're supposed to be asking us some, um, you know, asking us how, how do you get achieve salvation, man? Things that's beneficial, not what we're doing. Like, like you, some, like you hot shit or something. Like you, you that dude. That we gotta tell you what we're doing, and that's gonna make you feel better about, uh, make us feel better about ourselves. You know, I'm supposed to be asking a more productive question than that. Habakkuk two and one. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that reading. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? We, we're basically teaching to, to make a person run. Basically run to, run to the most high. Run towards salvation. You know? We're, that's why we're blowing the trumpet, man. And we're out here. It, you know, the world needs teachers. All that, you don't need no man to follow you. You don't got to follow no man. That's that bullshit, man. That's why the Most High set up teachers, man. You know? So we can make it plain upon tables. You know? We're basically here to make the scriptures plain. This is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 14. They have blown the trumpet even to make all ready, but none go up to the battle. For my wrath is upon the multitude thereof. <laughs> yep. Cause I'm, and, and, and we blowing a trumpet ain't no but it, people are slowly, slowly uh uh grafted in, but Jake it got the zeal but not according to knowledge. They won't protest or being black and, and powerful and shit like that and black and proud. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's all about the elect, it's all about pleasing the most high. It ain't about, you know what I'm saying, just being being black. You know? This ain't about black. We not black, we brown. Like the brother said in UK. It's about Israel, man. The Negro, Latino, Native Americans, man. It ain't about black people, because they ain't about no Africans. It ain't about no no other no other race that has melanin, man. You know? I I, I know there's one dude he talk he talk all that shit like he pro black. You know what I'm saying? But he be talking shit about a woman or trying to do this to that woman or, you know what I'm saying? He said, uh, one, one thing is that I never, I never, uh, uh, what he say? He said women are, um, equal, basically. But then he'll say, you know, uh, he'll pay, he'll, he'll always pay for his woman food. I'm like, why, what happened to the 50-50 then? You know, why she don't pay for her own food? Since they're equal. You're treating her like a woman when you pay for her food. You know? But niggas, is, they just all engulfed uh, on themselves. That, that that old black Egypt bullshit ain't nothing but woman worship. Bunch of pussy beggars, man. That's all they want is pussy. You know? That's all they want. You can, you, don't you know you can get pussy outside of that? You know? Like, the women don't outnumber us for nothing. Like, this yeah. bitch don't want to give it to you. Go to the next <laughs> bitch. Yeah. Somebody going to give it to you. Somebody going to give it up, man. <laughs> you ain't got to sell out for no pussy, man. But, hey, our, our men are legendary for that, man. So it's not it's not hard to under, misunderstand. But that's something that your main thing you got to get back is your, is your manhood, man. You know? Even in Ezra's, when they was talking about what's, you know, what's stronger, King, or, or is it the woman, or is it the one, you know? So they, they ain't throw a woman in there for nothing, man. Yep. They ain't go out of their wits. Yeah, they ain't go out of their wits for women. A lot, man. This is 
Ezekiel 13 and 3. Thus saith the Lord Power, woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like foxes in the desert. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 13, and uh, in verse, I started verse 2. It says, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Yeah. So they prophesy out of their own heart. They say what they want to say, man. You know, when shit, when shit get bad for you, or, you know, you lost your job, now you're just talking about how shitty America is. We, we, we out here, man, we putting out news. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I seen one brother was talking shit to one of the apostles saying, oh, that, 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 that news is not official. Our job is to bring out the news. You know what I'm saying? We don't just pull out anything. Anything that's according to prophecies, we're, we're pushing out there, man. You know? It may be, the news might not be legit. It might do be legit. You know, articles, what I mean. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to keep pushing it. Anytime we see something, you know, what, what the hell you expect me to do? You know, just sit there and, and not do nothing because I don't know if the news is real or not? Anytime I see something about China doing this to America, I'm, 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 putting, I'm putting up articles, man. That's what I'm doing. I'm talking about it. I was telling you earlier, I learned from you today, uh, about the countries that he allowed citizens to come from. Yeah. They ain't Yup, because it, it, Obama got a whole, I mean, uh, 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 Trump got a whole agenda, man. You know what I'm saying? He gonna, he gonna, he got this shit. He's accelerating it, man. He's accelerating these prophecies, man. He got China getting mad because, because the, uh, the, the, the T, uh, what the T, TPP, if I say it right, or TTP, what is it? The TPP, you know what I'm talking about? But basically it's a trade. And it basically is a trade among the Asians but it's leaving out China. You know what I'm saying? So so he basically, you know, that's why China is starting to make moves and starting to hear about China getting getting mad, man. They already didn't like him, but they, they basically like, yo, what the fuck? You basically trying to cut us out and then get our people, our neighboring people to come up against us. You know, trying to basically uh, cut them out the deal, man. If they're both selling oil or selling product, basically, America is trying to sell with uh, uh, Japan, Taiwan, Thailand, and all these countries, but don't sell to China. But China ain't gonna be able to sell this shit to them because America already cut them out. Like having, uh, you know, how when you're small, you have that little, they give you the little fucking pamphlet, you gotta sell shit. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah. It's like somebody coming from the other side of town into your neighborhood. And sell to everybody, and not nobody want to buy your shit because they already bought it. And, and and basically they got they got a whole plan to group up with everybody except for your ass. And what it's gonna do? It's gonna cut them out, man. You think China's gonna have that? No. You know. That's why I let war in the China Sea. You know. Uh, this is Ezekiel thirteen to three. Thus said the Lord power, woe unto the foolish prophets. And meanwhile, Mr. Lockyer, meanwhile, niggas is, niggas is fucking wondering, you know, what the fuck Trump is wearing today, or how he looks, and all this other dumb shit, posting pictures of his wife and saying she's the, the nastiest first lady. Who gives a fuck, man? The real thing is these laws this nigga's passing, man. You know? A bunch of dumbasses, man. They put a dumbass in the white office because you focusing on yeah, the on this dumb shit he's doing. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like the, the, the ones that, that that got the most that 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 cult the personality, depending on the type of cult of personality, they always put somebody in that's that's fucking weird as hell, man. They they do the most damage, man. You know, uh, uh Bush. You know reading a book upside down and shit. Like, ain't nobody...